I'ma just get straight to the point. Oculus Link has so many problems, but in this video, I will address all the fixes that I've found to fix these Oculus Link problems. I will leave timestamps in the description so you can skip over all the things you already know. The first fix is to unplug both ends of the cable. So unplug the part from the VR headset and the part from the PC. After you do this, re-plug the cable and maybe your problem is fixed. Just restart everything. Restart your VR headset, restart your PC, and also restart your Oculus software. To do this efficiently, open your Oculus software, go to settings, beta, and restart Oculus. And click the blue restart Oculus button and it will restart. This might sound stupid, but rotating your USB-C cable might actually help. I usually have one of these adapters, and when I had my USB-C cable entered one way, it didn't work. But when I had it entered the other way, so turning the cable entry around like 180 degrees, so it goes in the other way, made it work. This is rarely the case, but just make sure that all your drivers are updated. The most important drivers are Windows, and the one from your GPU, and also your Oculus drivers. I will leave links in the description explaining you how to update these drivers. On my last video on this topic, so many people were asking me if they could play VR on their like library PC. No, you cannot. If you have problems that it cannot connect, please look at your PC and like think about if it's gonna be able to run VR. I will leave a link in the description that shows you the minimum requirements for VR. If the past section hasn't helped you yet fixing your problems, this section of the video is probably gonna be much better. If you want to repair your Oculus software, it's pretty easy. All you gotta do is type in oculussetup.exe in your Windows search bar, click yes, now when it opens there is a repair button, you basically click that and then in the right lower corner you click repair again. The same way as you could repair your Oculus software, you can also uninstall it this way. After that, just reinstall the Oculus software and that might have fixed your problems. This works the best after you have reinstalled the Oculus software. Make sure to re-follow the Oculus Link tutorials too, because some people deny things that they should accept. So just search for an Oculus Link tutorial for the setup and just follow it step by step. Just do everything that is said. It might be painful to look at, but if either your PC or your Oculus Link cable is just not good enough, you might wanna look at upgrading it. You can ask me in the comments either if you don't know if you should upgrade or what you should get. I can give recommendations for cables and like GPUs. I've seen some people mentioning that disabling your power saving options for your USB can definitely help fixing Oculus Link problems. To do this, you gotta follow this tutorial. Right click on your Windows icon and open Device Manager. Once you've done that, scroll down to find your USB port. Right click on the USB, click Properties, go to Power Management and then uncheck the top setting and then click OK. Do this for every single USB you find here. Some people have the public test channel on. You should not have this on. To disable this, go to your Oculus app, go to settings, beta, and uncheck the public test channel so it turns gray. All of this didn't work yet, well, you might have to try factory resetting. Factory resetting your VR headset basically returns the Oculus back to the state that it was when you bought it. And it removes all games, but you can still download them after. So I would really only recommend doing this as like your last try. If you have tried every single thing on the internet, every single thing I've mentioned in this video, then you might want to try factory resetting. I really hope this video at least helped some of y'all. And if it did, please make sure to like the video and also comment which fix helped you. 
If you still have problems, please make sure to leave a comment and I'll respond to it.